We begin our ITIL journey in section two, service management key concepts. Here we will cover several terms and concepts and definitions related to ITIL before we go into the four dimensions of ITIL and the service management system of ITIL. What is service management? A set of specialized organizational capabilities for enabling value for customers in the form of services. The word management tells us that there need to be some arrangements, some competencies, some structure within an organization to develop or create and maintain and manage IT services. Therefore, that framework is known as service management. So the key words here are specialized organizational capabilities. Without these special capabilities, service management may not be possible. And when these capabilities exist, they enable value for customers in the form of services. The concept of value is core to ITIL, particularly to ITIL 4. So it is not just about delivering a service. It is about delivering value. And even beyond that, it is about co-creation of value. It is not that the service provider just delivers value. The service provider and the service consumer must work together to create and co-create, continually co-create value for each other, but more so for the consumer. And there may be value provided to even other stakeholders like employees, other business partners, consultants, and so on. In the exam, you may have questions, simple questions around these terms. For example, a question could be, which of the below is service management or which of the below explains service management correctly? Then you must remember these key terms like specialized organizational capabilities, enabling value in the form of services. If there are no services, then enabling value may not be possible. If there are no services, then the, having those capabilities may not achieve anything. Therefore, the service form the foundation for the service management. However, service have a different meaning. Service is a method or an approach to deliver value. So we look at the definition of service afterwards. By the way, these are the various service examples uh, in this world. Uh, a food, food service in a restaurant, accommodation service in hotels, resorts, and other services like pickup, drop, laundry, etc. And to deliver these services, to enable value for customers using these services, service management or specialized organizational capabilities will be necessary. However, technically, if you look at providing services in the modern digital era, IT infrastructure is essential. There needs to be systems or IT server management, networks, network management, virtual solutions, IT security and database management and others to be able to deliver services. This tells us that developing the service management capabilities may be challenging. If it's a new organization, they need to understand uh, what kind of capabilities they need and how they can maintain them, manage them, improve them continually. Therefore, they have to understand the nature of value first. Who is the consumer? Uh, what are they expecting? What value are they expecting? It is not just what service are they expecting. That, that may be probably historical. But now it is not about the service. More than that is, what does the service really provide in terms of value? And we look at some examples of services as well as examples of value in a moment. It is also essential to understand who are the stakeholders involved. What type of stakeholders are they? Are they just the consumer? Are they also the users on the consumer side? For example, if the consumer is a bank, they may be users within the bank and users outside the bank. And there are also employees from the provider side, the technical experts who are also stakeholders. Then they may, they may be the regulators, the government, and uh, other global stakeholders. And finally, how the services help to create value. Therefore, we begin, uh, we, we, going to another term and key term in ITIL, 
and there is a concept of value and the value co-creation. Value. Every individual has their own thought about value. To one person, value could be something cheaper. To another person, it could be something uh, available quickly and works well. And to another person, again, it could be something which meets compliance requirements. So value may have different meanings for different stakeholders because it is the perceived benefits, usefulness, and importance of something. So it doesn't mean just money. It just says something here. And the purpose of any organization, an organization being a group of people or just a single individual, like a sole proprietor, the purpose of all of them is to create value for stakeholders and work with stakeholders to co-create value together, not just deliver value. Traditionally, the word deliver was good because if I'm a service provider, I will make sure I'm delivering services as per my agreement with the customer or consumer or the user towards uh, based on achieved service targets. But do those service targets really achieve value for the stakeholders is the modern age, is the modern age thinking. So this term value is used regularly in service management. Just keeping the term value in our mind and focusing on that will completely change the way of working of ITIL service management stakeholders. A person receiving a certificate like this from One World Training will see value in that certificate. Some other people may not see value in the certificate, rather they may see value in the training itself, the learnings from the training. And some other people may see a combination of both as value, the training, the learning, as well as obtaining the certification as well. So value means different things for different stakeholders. It may be a good time to look at some examples of value. This is a quite a long list of value propositions. Uptime, availability, having met the service level agreement targets. Generally, more profit or revenue is, is well known as a value concept. Reputation, stability of operations, lower operational cost, higher subjective or perceived value. Innovation could be value for of value for some consumers. Sometimes a bank might or an airline might uh, treat increase of their user base, an airline uh, increase in the number of passengers and tickets being sold or more memberships to the airline may mean value to them rather than the money they made. Huh? Though money would be important for most organizations, newer features in a product may create value for a customer. Increase in productivity and speed, reduce business processing errors, better usability, faster deployment and operations, lower time to market, better usability with less frustration, future-proof product or service design, and many others are good examples of value. These values may be created only through service management because service management is a set of specialized organization capabilities which enable value to customers in the form of services. And what are services? We'll come to the term services in a while and look at examples of services also. Though we have looked at the examples like restaurant, accommodation, etc. But how about the IT services will be coming up soon.